<laughs> Do you want some sugar? Yes, it's Tiffany, the famous cavity witch from the movie 1709, which you can watch right here on this website. But today, she is not going to be on the side of evil. She's going to be on the side of good. She's going to help us do our division. How is she going to do that? Well, ironically, given the fact that she's a cavity witch, we're going to use Tiffany's teeth. So, we're going to just extract Tiffany's mouth, like that, and use this to help us do division. Using your imagination, you might be able to recognize this shape from something in mathematics and division. Yes, it's the Gazinta symbol. Use a working pen this time. Ooh. Recognize this thing? It's the goes into uh, symbol from division. So you might get a question that looks a little bit like this. 3 goes into 50. Four. And for those of you who are really good at your tables, I'm not really sure if Tiffany's teeth is going to be of any use to you because you can probably look at this and automatically think about what you need to do and just go ahead and do that step by step. But this is for people who sort of don't understand this whole gazinto. Well, what does that mean? Um, possibly people who are still learning their, their times tables or can't quite get the, get the idea of when you've got this somehow it turns into this and then what do I do? Oh, I don't know. So this is this is for you guys and I was one of you guys uh, back in uh, year two and in three when we were doing this stuff for the first time. So this is for you. Now the trick is this. It's built into the division Gazinta type symbol. Think of the curvy bit in this division symbol as Tiffany's mouth. And think of the number that's inside the curvy bit as Tiffany's teeth. And it tells you how many teeth she has. In this question, she's got three teeth. And these three teeth are going to take bites out of the, this number here. And the number of bites they take out of this number is the answer. Uh, mathematically, that's repeated subtraction. Now, the thing about Tiffany's teeth and her bites, she can only take bites of three. No more, no less. Whatever this number is, and whatever the number of Tiffany's teeth there are, that's how many she can take a bite of each time. So let's do this now. We deal with these numbers one at a time. Firstly, three into five. What does that mean? It means how many bites of three can you take out of five? That's the first number we have to deal with. We deal with the numbers one at a time. Three into five. So I'm going to make five now. There's five. One, two, three, five. Okay. How many bites can Tiffany take out of five? Let's find out. Oh, one bite. I bit those away. Can I take a second bite? No, I can't. Tiffany's got too many teeth. She can only take bites of three. So, three into five, three bites out of five, there's one bite. But you can see that there's something left over. There's two left over. What do I do with that two? I write it next to the next number. And now, it's three bites out of 24. The next number we're going to bite out of is 24. To do that, I need to make 24. So I'm going to do that now. Bear with me, this might take some time. So there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. So there's my 24. I might move that so we can see it. I'm using a, a set of these blocks that are uh, from the 70s, I think. So some of them are a little bit the worse for wear, like this guy. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> so 
So 3 into 24. How many bytes of 3 can I take out of 24? Let's find out. Okay. One byte. Two bytes. Three bytes. Four bytes. Five bytes. Six bytes. Seven bytes. And eight bytes. I could take eight bytes out of 24. Nothing was left over. So 3 into 54 goes 18 times. And that's Tiffany's teeth.